everybody and welcome back to Dragon Eye Creations. If you're new here, my name is Laurel and I love to create. I create all kinds of things. But this month we are on our month of gnomes and I have challenged myself to see how many gnomes can I show you in one month. And today we are on gnome number 10. So I really wanted to do something different for number 10. So I went ahead and we made a skunk gnome. He is so cute and fluffy. He's sitting in his little flower pot looking so sweet. So I'll show you guys. We're going to do a quick tutorial today on how to make your own little skunk gnome. We are starting with our polymer clay today and we don't care what color it is because we're going to paint it afterwards. <laughs> so we're just going to start by forming our hands, cutting out our thumb, and then roll that around to smooth out your edges. Tap down the point. For the fingers, I just did three and I just made lines where they would be. I didn't cut all the way through and then just kind of scored it on the top as well all the way around. Just kind of a cartoony looking hand is what I'm going for here. And the same thing for the other hand. And as you can see, I made these ones a little thicker than I normally would too. That just helps with the cartoony look kind of. We're just putting them on the edge of our pan so that they stay nice and curved like that to bake them. For our nose, I just made a ball shape and then I took my ball uh, tool here and I'm just going to poke that right in there for nostrils and then angled it up slightly so that you can see the little lines coming down. And for this one, it's not quite round. I kind of made more of a upside down heart shape almost. Not really, but slightly. <laughs> then we're going to bake those at 130 for 30 minutes. Now we are grabbing one child sock from Dollarama. I'm going to put a few stones just in the bottom for some weight. You don't need too many because he is going to be sitting in his flower pot. And then we're going to stuff the rest up to the heel with some polyfill. And then we'll top it off with our elastic. Let's go ahead and fold the top right down and put some glue on the top. And now I have some faux fur here. This is actually the collar off of an old coat that I took. So I took the fur off and now we're just going to wrap our sock right up in it with some hot glue. So hot glue on the end, hot glue on the sides here, and then just roll up our sock right in that. Holding it down firmly and then finishing up doing the same thing. Put a strip of glue right on the edge to finish it. And now I have one green foam roller. These are from the gardening section at Dollarama. And I'm just going to cut out some faux fur that we can wrap around this. Because of the foam does melt very easily on these, I am just gluing it to the fabric itself and not to the foam. And then I'm just going to cut off the ends here. I should have done this before, but I didn't think of it, of course. So now I'm just going to rip away some of that foam just to expose that wire that's inside there. Just a little bit, not even about half an inch of it, I'd say. And then we're just going to take our foam roller and fold it right in half and glue it right to the top of our skunk. A little more towards the front, but still right at the top there. And now we are going to make his tail. So I cut out a piece of black that was about 12 inches long and same with the white. And now I'm just going to take the black and cut a strip right down the middle of it. As you can see, it's a little bit wider than the white. The white is about the, the width of a ruler and the black is about double that. And now I'm just gluing the white to the black all the way down. Trying to make sure the fur is all on the one side. We don't want that to get caught in that glue. That's a it's a little bit tricky, so this takes a little bit of finesse, we'll say. <laughs> And we're going to do the same thing on the other side and glue our other piece of black material to that. And now we're going to take two pipe cleaners and twist them together. Bend them in half. Put them right inside our fur strips here. Just tack it down with some glue here and there. Hold it down. All right, we're going to run a glue strip along both sides 
just up from that pipe cleaner and then we'll fold it over and attach it to the bottom half so that we've got our tail and its fur all the way around now and we're just going to press firmly on the sides and then about three inches up on our skunk body we're going to put some hot glue and attach our tail pressing firmly I did put a little bit more glue up a little higher just to kind of tack it down a bit to kind of attach it better and then for the hat I am just wrapped some material to make sure it's wide enough I want it to be quite loose so I did make it pretty wide and then take that material fold it in half to cut your triangle shape I did make kind of a rounded triangle as you can see here I did then attach this orange ribbon which I will later decide I don't like <laughs> so now we're just going to run some glue along the side of our hat and fold it over pressing firmly all the way up to the point then turn it right side out making sure it fits him so I am now going to do his beard and this is a four inch square that I'm going to cut into a triangle shape just cutting the back of the material not the faux fur itself and then we're just going to hot glue that directly to our skunk's body here we're going to take some black acrylic paint and paint our cooled off clay pieces here and now we're taking a metal flower pot from Dollarama and I'm just going to take some white chalk paint here and just paint the whole thing we took that black faux fur and just drew out some ear shapes we're gonna cut those out and then just some hot glue in the center and fold them in to make ears I had technical difficulties so what I had done is put some green floral foam in the bottom of our flower pot put some pink and white flowers glued those in around that with the green leaves in the center I also attached his hands with some E6000 and hot glue I also attached his nose right in the center of his beers with E6000 and hot glue as well I put his ears up there in this trim I'm going to show you now that I'm going to be making because I didn't like the orange ribbon I apologize for all of that you guys <laughs> and then I just attached that pink ribbon right over top of where we attached his ears and then I took a flower put that right on the tip of his hat some more flowers and leaves I found these little green plastic leaves in my bin so I started attaching those as well just hot gluing them in there and then I decided I didn't like the finish of just the chalk paint so I went in with some uh, color shift white paint here I love the color shift paints and then I did a hot glue strip and some black and white checkered ribbon here just to finish off our basket some flowers down this front there like they're spilling out a little bit And then you could put him right on inside. So there he is. He's all done. He's ready to go. I didn't attach him as you can see. That way you can take him out if you want. Or you can leave him in there. If you want to attach him, go ahead. It's up to you. It's always up to you. It's your creation. So anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Love the support. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Love to all.